Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what the Arizona Diamondbacks announced that they are bringing back for the 2018 MLB season. But before I get into that, if you want to click the top right corner to see more opinionated news reporting videos, make sure to click the top right corner now to go see more opinionated and news related videos. So, And I did upload yesterday my 2018 MLB predictions, so make sure to go check those out. But yeah, let's get right back into it. So... Around the 60s, 70s, and 80s, possibly of baseball, I mean, I wasn't around, but of course I follow baseball, the MLB had an established bullpen car where they would have a car go and pick up the, bu the bullpen pitcher that was coming into the game and take them to the mound. That, that is not going to be through the field, it's going to be uh, through the infield dirt. But the Arizona Diamondbacks have announced that they are bringing back the bullpen car. And this is a very, very interesting decision, to say the least, by the Diamondbacks. I mean, so the bullpen car, it's basically a 70s and 80s thing. Why are they bringing back? I have no idea. Especially with, I mean, it could be, I mean, I have a possible reason. It could be. Because of these pace of play rules and everything, that they want the pitchers to get to the mound even faster, so that so that the pace of play doesn't mess anything up. I think that that could be a possible reason, but I can't come up with any po more possible reasons. I mean, it's an old school thing, and I honestly barely remember it. I just remember there was a bullpen carb. That's about it. And seeing the news that the Diamondbacks are going to do this, I mean, I was kind of scratching my head. I couldn't come up with a reason, but I thought about it a little longer and realized, eh, I think it could be for that pace of play, and I don't, I haven't seen any other reason to do it. I mean, I've been watching video, I've been watching ESPN, MLB Network, stuff like that, and they really haven't come up with anything other than the pace of play. I mean, I haven't heard anything. It's a very old school style thing, and it used to have the team, the home team's logo on it, and I don't know if the Diamondbacks are going to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's for both teams, but I'm still not 100% sure on that. But I'm pretty sure if you're going to bring a bullpen car, you might as well do it for both teams. I, that's my opinion. But, um, again, bringing a bullpen car back, that is more of an 80s thing, and I'm still scratching my head. I mean, I don't know why they would do it for pace of play. I think it's basically the same thing. You're bringing back something from the 70s and 80s. And it is America's pastime. It is something that we need. It's something that has been around for a very long time. It's the longest uh, sport that is still going on in America in sports history. So I can definitely, I mean, bringing back something from old I mean, it's great, but what the MLB is doing, they're making, they're making new rules, they're instituting new things, and personally, I am in shock of why the MLB has done this. They're instituting these pace of play rules. They're putting the clocks on the um, scoreboards to see what's going on. I mean... It's a very fan interactive sport, but I, I don't know where this bullpen car comes into play. You talk about everything from baseball; it's America's pastime. Well, you have it. I mean, that's the main argument for a possible good reason that you can't counter. I mean, I'm ca I'm gonna counter it right now because the MLB has put in a whole bunch of new rules, these new pace of play cro clocks and stuff like that. And if this is to do that, if it's bringing something back from the 70s and 80s to do it then I guess I'm fine with it, but I don't see how there's any difference whatsoever in getting a pitcher to the mound. I don't see it. There's the new netting going past the dugouts now that we're getting a whole lot of fan safety issues. And so basically bringing something back when the MLB is trying to make this a new sport, is trying to institute, it's not making it a new sport, it's trying to institute new rules, trying to switch up the game a little bit, bringing something back from the 70s and 80s really doesn't make sense at all, in my opinion. I mean, it's going to be fun to see the Diamondbacks bring, it's going to be fun to see kind of a weird thing, weird new style of going to the pitcher's mound from the bullpen. I mean, I'm, I'm curious 
to see how it's going to go. I mean, I'm not upset about it. I'm just scratching my head on why. It's, I mean, I wasn't watching baseball. I wasn't even alive at the time where they were still using bullpen cars in the 70s and 80s. I mean, it's going to be a fun thing to see. And I'm going to like seeing it, but they're... But in my opinion, they're going to try it for one year. And I think that they're going to say it's not... It, I, not there could be two ways that this goes. The way I think it's going to go is... Diamondbacks are going to say, eh, there's nothing big. What? Why are... This is nothing changed. I think we're going to get rid of this. Or they're going to make the... They're going to prove something to the MLB and say, hmm... This is an improvement of pace of play, and that's all we've been trying to do for the past couple of years. So that we're going to institute bullpen cars in every stadium, and if that doesn't, ha and there is a small possibility that some stadiums will adopt the bullpen car re. The bullpen car could do one of two things. The first thing is be a whole flop, and the Diamondbacks are going to get rid of it next year, but it's going to be fun to see uh, old baseball coming back for a single year. Or it will give the MLB the idea to institute bullpen cars everywhere, or some stadiums will get it. It will re give a reborn feeling to the bullpen car. The bullpen car will be reborn. So... The Diamondbacks are the only team doing this. If you skipped ahead to this part of the video, um, the Diamondbacks are the only team that are into studying this bullpen car. But personally, as a Pirates fan, I kind of want to see this at PNC Park because I have never gone to a Diamondbacks game in my life. I'm not going to Arizona, maybe even ever. So I'm not going to be able to see this bullpen car, especially not this year. So I would like to see this at PNC Park, personally. So I can just get a feel for the bullpen car. I'm not going to be going out to Arizona to do something like that. But if you are in Arizona and a Diamondbacks fan. Um, and you're planning on going to a Diamondbacks game. Tell me in the comments below what you're going to think of this bullpen car. And even if you're not a Diamondbacks fan. Even if you're not going to an Arizona game. Just tell me your thoughts in the comments about this new bullpen car that the Diamondbacks are instituting. But but again, thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe for more of this stuff. Um, again, if you are new to the channel and you didn't watch last Thursday's video, it was kind of an update. I will no longer be uploading on Wednesdays. Tomorrow is, unfortunately, Wednesday, so I will not be uploading a video tomorrow. And on select Sundays, I will upload videos. Not I'm not quitting uploads on Sundays, but but for some Sundays, I am, I'm kind of booked on Sundays, so... If I don't feel I can get a video out, I'm not going to get a video out. But if I have a lot of time during the day, I will get a video out for you guys. So it's not a guarantee on Sundays, but most of the time it will be a video on Sunday. But again, thanks for so much for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to tap the bell when you subscribe so you don't miss notifications on any new videos on the channel. And once again, thanks for watching.